This desk I've had for a very long time. And uh, that's not a real gun, it just shoots caps. And I think you can use it as a cigar lighter. Uh, it, it, it's a prop gun, actually. So I, got, I built this a long, long time ago. <clears throat> and I put a lamp in it. See right there? And that's fairly okay. It's, it's daylight, so you're not going to see much. And uh, what an interesting project this was. I had so much fun doing this. This is the one where I just... I put a bunch of varnish on it, and the fireplace backed up and blew ash all over. I had to strip it again entirely. So I uh, don't use it a lot, but I'm, I'm starting to. But one of the things that's annoying about it is it's, it's dark in there. Uh, and that helps a little bit in this old switch. I don't even know where that came from. Looks like something I bought at Handy City or something before uh, the orange and blue happened. And so what I want, I've always wanted to do is put uh, lighting in this of some kind. That's a particular problem. I know that's lighting, but it ain't, it ain't what I had in mind. Because of this, you see, you see that stuff moving up in right here? This is the roll top part. And I could have done a better job there, huh? And uh, yeah, I was pretty aggravated, I remember, by that some Saturday morning and I was about done. I had to take it all apart almost. So it's hard to bring stuff up behind it, but you can. You can bring wires up behind it. And uh, so what I'm gonna try to do is uh, put, a, put a lamp, uh, maybe some kind of strip lamp up here because you can't hardly see it and you can pull it down a little bit if you felt like it. And get lamps in each one of these individual uh, cubbies right here. And get some over in that corner, and you know, take that out and put something else. Now, one would instantly think of doing a rope light and doing like a serpent thing going in and out and in and out with a rope lamp, but you can't really do it because there's not enough room. And then you got to think about you don't want wires running up everywhere, so it's going to be quite the challenge to electrify uh, this thing, and then hopefully, I can get rid of some stuff back there. So, it'll be very interesting, I think. I believe it'll be a fun project. So let's see, I need a strip lamp and one, two, three, four, five, maybe eight little lamps. Uh, something very simple. Something very, very simple, but very, very small. So what one thinks of is uh, like the 194 automotive uh, lamp. So I've got about 60,000 uh, wall, uh, wall warts, you know, uh, transformers. And I think I'm going to play around with those and see if I can get uh, those to fire. And uh, I don't even need to get sockets, technically. I could just hardwire them like I do in cars. I don't usually like to use sockets because that's the point of failure. And you can lose uh, some brightness there. So we'll see what we can do. Won't that be fun? This was the original front to the Harley Davidson. And I put a lamp there. So let's see. Uh, it was made... I think in 04, made in USA, say. But it's just plastic. It's just like a model, like when you're a boy, model car. All right, let's see if we can let's see if we can dig up down in the down in the bond. So I pulled the desk out. I decided to wait till nightfall and uh, show you what it looks like with the lamps that little lamp in there at nights and then so when i do the comparison you'll see so I'll, I'll drag it back over here and plug her in but if you get in the back of this thing you can tell i've already cut a hole there for something a long time ago i don't even know what was there so that's the best way and here's the back of the roll top and there's where i have those i cut those off too so a cord will go in there easily and, and shouldn't foul anything up so what i've got hold of here is uh I was going to go get a bunch of little separate lights and then I was walking down the aisles and it struck me. Why not get, uh, why not get these? Only need eight lights. This has 10. I guess I could put two on the bottom, two on the top, but I can cut this up however I want to. But the question is, uh, is it, are they dimmable? Well, I don't know. I got that for $22 or something. 
So that's better than by little individual lights. And they are probably a little too big for my purpose, my, my what I had in my mind. But, you know, two-something dollars a bulb, I'll take it. And I got the, I got the socket, and I got wire and everything. I should be able to do something with this. This is an interesting project, something I've always wanted to do since I built that thing. And I saw this sitting in the corner. And uh, this has a little tiny remote, and uh, I'm going to plug this in to that and see if I can dim those with this thing. So how interesting is all this stuff? Uh, that was expensive. That was uh, $49. If it doesn't work, I'll take it back. Boy, how many times we said that, huh? As always, it ends up being interesting. So... Let's make a note about what this thing is. Uh, where's the part number? Yeah, there you go, 400-4145. So, I know that I'm not applying it properly. And what are these? These are uh, string lights. There's 2851, 285. I don't think anybody's gonna do this thing. It makes this, oh yeah. Okay, so I've kind of wired this up uh, at home here, like I do. I'm, I know. I just put this in line. This was an interesting thing. This is the little remote that comes with it. I thought that was that's what really put me over the edge was this little remote because I uh, it's just a, it's just better than having a, a great big box. But I'm, I'm gonna it's gonna be in have a great big box, but it's going to. Uh, be hidden so you gotta you know so you got to do what yeah, you got to uh, pair this thing so pairing dimmer control so I did that so let's turn these on uh, there they are so this is the main unit and you can take I put it in line with everything and I've got this going for it but this is the problem that you run into and I'm not too worried about this because I'll just put an on and off switch on it. But you got this thing going. That's and once you get it paired, it only takes you know 30 seconds, six seconds here, six seconds there. You know how it is. So you can turn this thing up, and you can watch right here. That green light will go up, and the lights will get brighter. And that's as bright as those things are going to get. So then you press this button, and it dims them fairly well and then you turn the off button right there and it goes off but the lights stay on so there's enough voltage slipping through here uh, I could probably put a resistor on there or something but I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the on off switch that's that's on the desk right now and I've decided to sort of take the uh, the uh, desk a little bit apart there you go see and that's full bright. That's all you want, because uh, this is just a little desk lamp. This is not anything big. I, th I think that's going to be just fine. So, and then you hit this, and it brings. You can set this to what your favorite place is, and it's sort of a default mode to go into the middle there. So that's pretty cool. I think that's. I think that was worth it. Uh, but as we know from putting LEDs in in cars that any little electron uh, slipping through the old bloodstream there and it's gonna it's gonna fire that mother up uh, it's just gonna happen because this these things take such little voltage but I'm digging this thing I can't wait to see how this turns out I'm waiting on it to get dark so I can show you what it looks like and then there'll be a before and after so I'm very happy about all this so okay let me go let me go get some stuff Go get some wire. I can't take the desk apart until I show you what it looks like just with that little individual bulb in it. I just feel like doing that just so we can have a comparison. So I, I like this thing. I like it so much I might uh, change a couple of things out here at the house. So uh, in as little as 15 minutes, which means more than 15 minutes. So I'm set up for destruction, uh, dismemberment, and uh, planning and doing and 
it's going to be great. It's going to be real great. So uh, here's a trick. Uh, if, if you've got something you can't see a fitting, and I remember there were three in here, and you got to take this off to get this out to get to the back, and you got to take that off. So, okay, so what you do is, I've shown this a couple of times, but you'll find your fitting, kind of kind of figure out how far up it is, so you remember to put it back, but just press it with your finger, and that's a slot head, and you can actually see the direction. Doesn't hurt. But I think these are quarter drives. I got this one kind of loose. I didn't want to take it out until we were here, so I think these are quarter drive. As I recall, yeah, those are quarter drive. I was set up for that. I knew that was going to happen. I had that just in case. But now we can take, uh, we can lower the bar. Uh, a lot of political uh, comments could be made there, but we're trying not to do that here. Okay, let me, let me get this off now, now that we know. Okay, got the screws out. Let's move the tools. And I probably should have been a little bit better prepared for this. And then you get this this off right here. Now this is the way uh, most roll top desks work because they have to work some way, don't they? I remember when I did this, I put a bunch of stain on this and it soaked through and the, it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, move. So here we go. Let's get this out of here and you'll see how it works. You see those tracks right there? And uh, yeah, I'm, it's really hot. So I'm, Oh, there it comes. So, okay, and then you can just take this out. I don't know what's going on here. You can just feed it out of there. And then there's your roll top. But I remember doing this. I can see how I got stain and stuff on that. It got pretty brittle. And I had to take it out and sort of roll it up and crunch it up to get it to work. So I got hot glue ready and everything. So I'll probably open this door later tonight, which is my habit. But right now the sun's blaring in here. And you know which one's which because there's where the screws are. So that's the roll of the roll top desk. Uh, let's get that back off of there. Now, I know this is going to look a little clunky. Uh, I've already given it some consideration. But uh, let's just pretend that uh, Nikola Tesla or Thomas... Alva Edison, of which I have some of his stuff. Got some of it right there. It's got his picture right there on it. There's little things right there. So, uh, my plan is I got 10 bulbs, which is just unbelievably fortunate because I'm going to put one here and one here, and then one for each of these cubbies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Ooh, dusty up there. And uh, that'll give us some light that it will cascade out this way. And uh, so it just happened, ten was fine. Uh, don't bother me. And since I condemn them, that'll be fine. But the point of this is, I'm going to try to make them look like that. Uh, and that'll be okay. You know, I don't mind that. So we'll see. Oh, and incidentally, these are plastic. You'll find that to be true, which I'm okay with. So I think this gonna, I think it's going to be cool. I have meant to do this since the day I put this thing together. Hmm. Okay, we're going to uh, turn everything off to turn everything on. Okay, ready? So this is what it looks like. Waited all day for this. So this is what it looks like now. Not acceptable. So I've already got, you can see where I've got that going. And I'm thinking about things. So not bad. You know, let's just say it's uh, 20 years ago, not bad. But you see how dark all of that is? And it's dark all up in there. We're going to change all that. We're going to fix it up. Okay, turn this off. Most of us use power tools. 
And I've had this saw here for a very long time, a keyhole saw. And it's from the Allway Saw Company from New York. Let's see if I can see that. And it says uh, Ultra Manufacturing Company of New York City. Patent number. I want to demonstrate to you what this does. I've had this forever. I've never really messed with it because you just don't need to because you just grab a power saw. But do you see the the way the blade's held in there? It's got this knock and a little guide and a little stop. So, and right now, as you could tell, I would be cutting away from you. And all you got to do is, uh, see, it's just as easy as pie. The reason it's so hard to deal with is because it's like the day it was made. Uh, you got to push down on it a little bit and then it'll release. There you go. And it'll pivot. And then you take it. See, it's like the day it was made. And then you got to be careful with this blade because I doubt you'd get another one. And all you got to do is flip it over. Oh, you got to do it the right way. You got to flip it over. Uh, yeah, no, I had it the right way. And then you can go this and you can push down on that and it'll lock into place. And now I'm cutting towards you. Ram. Okay. So uh, push down on this. And so now, it depends on how you feel about it. You can go this way and, pu and push that down and lock it. And now you're cutting down, albeit not real tight, but still it don't have to be real tight. And then if you want to, you can turn it uh, this way, so that means you got to put it on that way. And now, if you can get it on there, you got to be careful. You break that that little stub off right there, and that'll be the end of the tool. Okay, God, it's like it's like new. I wonder how old it is. I have to look it up on the interwebs there, and it should go click. And you don't, if you don't cut your hands to pieces messing with it, well, you get the idea. Now you're gonna, now you're gonna cut up. So that's a pretty cool tool that I'm getting ready to use. And I think I want it to go this way because I'm gonna cut a hole in the desk. Oh golly, she's tight. There you go. There you are. Man, that is the all-way saw. Cool, huh? Okay, so here we are. We're gonna go to this corner. I've already drilled the holes, and this is for to put this in. And I've got my saw ready to go, and I'm gonna just saw. I might have to go get Rex the Wonder Tool, but uh, you gotta keep your mind on where how the teeth are arranged. Let me get that hole cut. Once you get this thing a gold see, she rips right through it. Whoa, how nice is that, huh? Fresh blades and everything. My guess, I'm going to look it up, but my guess would be 50s on this, 1950s on this little baby. Well, there they are. They uh, seem to still be in business. Uh, so I'll be danged. It doesn't get anything about their history, but uh, they must have a fairly good history, so uh, good on them. Uh, LaGrange Avenue, Rochester. And uh, I'll be dinged. Hmm, still there. Still working away. Well, good for them. I can't find a date anywhere on this thing. So it's okay. There's nothing on the blade nor anywhere else, so I don't know. I'm just I'm enamored by the little, little, little thing, the little devil. So, let's see if, if this works. I'll get to hide that hole over there I made a little time ago too. Well, there you have it. Now the real question is, well I have to space it out some. Uh, looks like I will have to space it out a little bit. Uh, and that's okay. Yeah, that's gonna foul right there. So that's okay. I'll just I'll make I'll, I'll make some spacers. It won't be hard, and it won't be uh, too intrusive. I don't think. Or I tell you what would be better. I just hot glue it there, and uh, once I get it spaced out, 
Oh, well, they're so spaced out. I'm just gonna hot glue that thing there. And then uh, put a little bit on this side, just stick it in and then put a little bit on the other side. So I've got a, hot, I got a lot of hot glue work to do here. So let's do it, I guess. Moving along well, actually. Oh, I gotta take this stuff out that's down here. I forgot that. Gotta get this bulb out here, too. Gotta get that out of there so I can kind of leave, probably leave the switch here. And uh, like I think I showed already, because I gotta hook it up because they don't turn off as we talked about. So let's see, let's see what we got here. Okay, I got enough to do that, but we are gonna pull this bulb out. Look at me put a grommet on it and everything. What a guy. Well, like we all do in YouTube, we uh, haven't talked this morning, have I? Uh, I got the old lost footage thing, so this needs to be explained. So since these are LED lamps, uh, and I wanted to fit them in there. See, I got the bulbs up there and down here because you don't notice them. But those, I was able to cut the globes off of them, see? And I decided to make a little... A little Danger Will Robinson finger puppet, see? It's a Danger Will Robinson. And uh, anyway, I just was playing around and had that idea. So nevertheless, uh, I cut five of them off with a Dremel at kind of a medium speed. And you got to be real careful because if you nick that uh, LED cob or uh, those, that other little wire that runs real close to the edge here uh, down by a river, uh, you will, uh, you will have a bad bulb and you have to go get another one. So anyway, we'll just uh, toss that in there. And uh, just wanted to make sure everybody understood that. There's a certain amount of risk and danger in cutting those gloves off, but there's, it's not a vacuum. It's not like an incandescent bulb, uh, like the bulbs you use in, uh, in, the, in my cars or in your cars or whatever, they're LEDs. Uh, like the 194s, a lot of the bulbs have no surround at all. You just put them in and they're fine. They're open They're open to atmosphere is what I'm trying to say. So just lost that footage. I want to make sure and explain that uh, well. So just want to stick this in the middle so you can see what happened. Got a big old storm going on out there. Devil's beating his wife. Kind of pretty, isn't it? I'm not gonna open this door, it's too buggy. Every time I open the door, I let a bunch of bugs in. Look at that, sun shining and raining like crazy. Raining sideways, that means it's going into the barn window. So it's okay, just sweeping across the field. Where the wind goes sweeping down the plain. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna put it back together yet. I have got it wired, I've got my box in place. I have, uh, I've plugged it in just to make sure it hadn't not going to blow up. And uh, this is the back side of it. This is just going to hold the wires down temporarily. It don't matter if they hold or not. <clears throat> but uh, we'll turn it on when it gets dark. I'm probably going to be here till about 11.30 or so tonight before i got to go. And then, uh, but see, if you look at it from here, you really can't tell. And there's my little outlet that I wired. That was the end of the... So if I were going to plug something in, I'd plug it in right there. Of course, it'll be uh, something run by that right there. So I just hot glued the bases down. There are those. And when you sit here, you can see them. Something's got to be there. And the ones down here, you got to kind of look for. But they're down there. There's two down here, three up high, and five across there. So whew. I bet you this has taken me... Every wire is soldered. Uh, every wire is, uh, you, there's no wire nuts in this. And it's probably taken me a total of four hours of labor, if not more. So we'll turn it on tonight. See how it goes. I guess, yeah, I've sort of proven in, that this, uh, this thing will keep its memory to this thing. That's cool. Digging it. All right, well, let's get back to Eric O and the Honda Pilot. Fuel injector story. This is the, the light that came out of it. That goes way back. I bet that was my dad's or something at one point. And uh, it's getting a little crusty. 
And here's the incandescent bulb. I had to do that because it was just too reflective, too bright. Look at that bulb. Wow. Look at all that tungsten. I don't know what year this thing is. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, 10 watts. So, yeah, that goes way back to the Wayback Machine. Well, I'm looking forward to pushing this back. I've got it all vacuumed back there. Good opportunity to clean up. And uh, I just can't wait to see what it looks like tonight. But I've got got like uh, an hour and a half before I can look, you know, see if it works and get all this back together again. It won't take me about 20 minutes to get everything back together again, or less. I don't have my tripod up here, but this is the way you feed the uh, roll top part of it. You just keep going and they see why I tape that stuff back just so it gets it out of the way. And then that goes in there like that. And then it comes out this way. And then it comes out here. Okay. Okay, well let me put that band back on it right here and put the back back on it. Back, back. Buck, buck. God, what is that from? I think that's from uh, Bill Cosby. Buck, buck. Fat Albert weighed 2,000 pounds. I think I'm right on that. Okay, gonna have to have the old, the old hammer. Okay, just, if you put stuff carefully up there, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Well, let me get this that wooden band back on it. Well, let's find out what this is gonna look like. Big storm out there, another third one today. Well, I think it's plugged in, we'll find out. So switch is down here, see it? Oh, well, let's do that again. Okay, so there they are underneath. You know, that's okay. Yeah, that's just really okay. Uh, and I can see the LED down there. So you can turn that up. And uh, one thing may lead to another here. Well, let's go back and see what that looks like. You know, that's a bit of all right there. And you can just pull this down a little bit and make it a little bit, a little bit more however you want. You can adjust the light with the roll top section or with this handy dandy remote thing. Now you can turn it off, but it don't turn. Ooh, see big lightning flash. <laughs> anyway, I don't think there's any problem with the uh, with the switch. <laughs> Nah, no, it's fine. Oh, big boom. Oh, it's about a mile and a half away. I gotta go down the bar. So I'm real happy with that. I think it's beautiful. Uh, it almost looks like a stage. So there's my little chair that I adjusted today. Brought it up a little bit. I'm not unusually tall, but I'm taller than, than most. So there you are. Let's turn the lights back on here. And uh, I don't see any reason in you know, showing you what it looks like in place or anything. So there you go. Thanks for watching. The old thumbs up. You can do anything you want to if you put your mind to it. And I, my mind was on this a long time ago, and I'm so glad it's done. And I'm going to turn it off whilst I move it. One more walk around, and that'll be it. Okay, see you next time. I'll think of something. couldn't help it I just I just had to take a final picture of this this is uh, this is beautiful to me uh, I just uh, I like the ambient light thing so much and uh, there's my big ceiling fan and I'm uh, washing all my my bedding but I gotta I gotta tell you when I come in the front door here God, it rained like crazy, but it's cool. Little fountain. So when I come in and I see my bay window there, and uh, 
see my glass block there. And then I got that one for me. That is just more than good for me. And actually, I like having my lights around the clock. So that all the stuff comes on automatically. That's nothing to brag about anymore because everybody does that. Hey, don't like that though, do you? There you go, that's better. There you go. You don't want that looking, looking wompy jawed. Okay, so that's the way it goes. Beautiful. Thanks for watching again.